there's a bunch of records that you've played on that I feel I have not sort of heard a lot about. Um, and so I was curious, the first one in particular, when I was looking through your discography, is one of the guy from the Ivory Coast, uh, Emil Yohan and the Ancestors. Oh, my God, you found that. So tell me about that. <laughs> tell me about that record. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, that was, in fact, one of the first records that I played on. I mean, I can't remember when whether I played on that before I played on... Um, uh, learn to count with strawberry shortcake. Um, I don't know if my name is on that, but you know, a series of children's records that I made with a, um, a very, someone who knew nothing about education. We would make this guy. Well, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. This guy, John Braden, who was known among, uh, downtown gay theater circles as the boy who had no talent um and we, we would make um we we would record these records in three hours or less uh for ch poor children who had to listen to them and i remember they were supposedly educational but let's put it this way I, no, I, i'm not gonna say any more bad things about this poor unfortunate guy but the poor kids who had to listen to these things and whose mothers expected them to learn to count and to tell time from these things that these songs that he made up. Oh God. Anyways. So, so back to Emil, who is much more artistically interesting. Um, okay. I was friends with Roy. Nath I've long, you know, Roy was one of the first people um, who I, who I met when I moved to first musicians I met when I moved to uh, New York City. And Roy had a friend who, um, I'm trying to remember, oh, I can't remember his name exactly. This was a very long time ago. So we're talking about the late seventies really. And um, his friend used to play drums on the subway in drag and um, while he was earning money in that way, uh, he met um, he met Emilio on, who figured it would Emil, an Ivory Coastian immigrant who who played the uh, kalimba, and Emil figured this was a good business connection. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And the next thing we know, it, this guy's name was David. Maybe the rest of it will come to me. Um, we were rehearsing in in David's basement on uh, East 10th Street uh, with Emil, Roy, me, and, and a bass player named Ernie Proventure, uh, who's probably still around, you know, very professional guy. In fact, he became known in the band as Professional Man. Uh, <laughs> um, and he was kind of mystified by the rest of us, I think. But it was an amazing band and it was really my introduction um, to West African music. And I learned a hell of a lot from that band because what we would do is we'd rehearse and we'd record it on cassette. And then it was my job, you know, to kind of, I would kind of try to transcribe and learn what we were doing so that the next time we rehearsed, we could remember it. And at first I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on because I'm, I mean, I wrote about it. I wrote about this uh, in, in my, in the book I recently pub published unstrung. Uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on because it seemed like we'd play a song. Like one of the songs was, I love you, mama. Um, we'd play it and the kalimba pattern would have a certain pattern. I'd play guitar with it. And everybody would have their parts, right? And so we'd come to the next rehearsal and he'd play something completely different. And at first I thought, okay, this guy's jive. He's just making stuff up and saying it's the same song. But what I realized is he was playing the same part every time with the same song. It's just, it would start on a different eighth note. So in other words, for and it's this I learned later learned is true, you know, like West African musicians hear every note as potentially one. It's a kind of more circular concept. It's not this here's the bar line, yeah. you know, that goes from left to right. It's 
the bars are, the musical phrases are circular and can start at any point. And so once you know that, you know, you have to, and which also demands an incredible virtuosity in listening. You have to be able to hear them in it, fr- you know, with many different uh, rhythmic emphases possible, you know, in many different contexts at the same time. In Unstrung, you mentioned that, I think, in but uh, playing with, is it Susanna Baca? Susanna Baca, right. Yeah. Well, that's, how- that's also African derived, you know, she's the queen of uh, black Peruvian music and that's very deep uh, black musical tradition. Dry, 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 dry.